So if you guys didn't know, which I'm pretty sure I didn't show you because when I was getting it done, it was actually raining both days, but I finally got my truck back and look what it looked like, y'all. We finally put that six inch lift on it, y'all. Like this thing looks crazy. It looks way better than when, when I first got I like, gotta jump in the car. Like, now. We legit have to jump in the car now. Like I'm still getting used to it. Like you guys can see, this is all the kit right here. Well, you can see it more in the back. It's kind of dark. Let me show you guys real quick. You see it right there. So I did. It's kind of dark. I can't see nothing. It is a rough country lift kit, six inch lift kit. That's what is on it right now. Uh, where'd he go? Has a little charger. But yeah, this thing looks crazy. But right now, what we are going to be doing is going to AutoZone. I want to get all these decals off. So I'm trying to get a plastic scraper tool. So we're going to be doing that because I don't want to damage the paint, obviously. So I hope that they got some plastic scrape tools. And if not, then I mean, we can just take it off with. Um, not uh what was it called floss but yeah. like there's i try to take it off a little bit but there's like some like uh sticker residue you know to yeah. like the imprint of it so i don't want that on there still so i'm gonna see if they got some in here so let's go in here. he just asked the worker he didn't say one thing but yeah that's exactly what i need or they have one that has like hella but i mean if that's the only one right now then that's good but there's like one that had like more blaze than that or how many does it have is it safe Oh, it does. Okay, there it goes. It has like four, three or three blades. Perfect. I should be able to get them off, all off, huh? Yeah, definitely. Right, cool. So, uh, other than that, bro, shit, that's all I need from here. I did want to get a tow hitch too. I ain't gonna lie. I would be hard if I got one of these. This would be perfect you because get a clean one though. <laughs> would that not be clean? Cause look, the only reason why I would get this one right, cause it has every size on it. So let's say like if let's say if I went to U-Haul and got that trailer thing. It could fit on this one, but if I got like something else and it could only fit on this one, I would have three different options instead of opposed to just getting one and being stuck with only trying to find something with this size on it. Obviously, you can get adapters too, but I was thinking of doing something like that. But I might get one. That one's hard because it's already black and my car's already black. Yeah. If this one is like this shit got a horn on it and everything. That's crazy. I ain't doing all that. But uh, yeah, I was gonna get one because my girl actually wants one too because I do want to be able to start. Like I said, bro. Have multiple streams of income so you can do like hella shit if you have like a trailer or something too you can start hauling stuff away with it so i've been using that truck to my advantage so far i've been that's like the main car i've been driving too to be honest with you guys Especially with summer coming we were talking about some jet skis jet skis we could do atvs all that stuff so if we have this we could put it on the trailer or whatever so i mean yeah, with ATVs, I did just saying, get. you could do all that stuff bro so that's why i wanted to get one of these that would have failed, boy. That would have been crazy. Um, but yeah, and then you also need one of these so you can lock them in place. So, should I get one right now, or what you think? I don't necessarily think you need one. Right I don't now. need it right now, but I mean, I guess I could just be here to get like a price range. But they might be cheaper at like Harbor Freight or like Home Depot because that's crazy. I think I've seen it online. For you like, could definitely find different ones at Home Depot with the same different sizes. Yeah, because they pro probably because since it's just an auto store, they probably charge extra, but. Yeah, I definitely would need one of these to get it locked into place. So we are going to be seeing, but I am just going to get this for right now. So we're going to take those decals off. So let's go check this out real quick, y'all. This thing definitely looks more of a truck now. So I don't know. But I also, one thing that I also wanted to do now is I also either want to get the pinks, I mean the brakes painted either red or yellow. What do you think? Yellow. Yellow. Yellow be hard. I think yellow be way better because as you guys know, everybody gets red. red like that's the, that's the color you always get. I mean, you can't go wrong with red. That's the good thing with it, but ever the only way i would keep red on is if i would have kept these decals on right here and i would just like compliment it but i'm taking all this off because i do not like how that looks and yeah i think i'm gonna go with yellow but with that being said we are going to be taking these badges off real quick i'm gonna be taking these off so look this is all awesome. about see how it's like that sticker back there still i think that, oh, yeah the scraper that. to get that off for sure so i'm gonna show you guys the before which is this is what it looks like now i'm gonna show you one actual so this is what it looks like so far well emitter is getting two more letters off but it's coming off pretty good with the uh, plastic scraper if you guys are looking into debadging your car i suggest you i highly suggest you to get this or get fishing line as well but i think the plastic blade scrapers will be easier because it gets all of the uh like adhesive or like that glue they be using on the back of it so but the thing is with this you might have to get like a clay bar or something to get this off because obviously it's been sitting on there for so long and it's been caked on it the like the what is that called like the uh back of it what like are these the, called? i don't know honestly i forgot what these are called but like you know the residue of it just stays on so you might either have to just get a car wash and just let it come off but i highly suggest like getting a clay bar or like some type of something to get that out but 
I have Go or oh, Google. That's yeah, what I, yeah, yeah. I can use that too. I have some at my house, but I can do that later. But this he's almost done with this one, so that's what it looks like with it completely off. I think it just gives it a much more cleaner look. But all that extra badging, it, they were already black, so you kind of couldn't see from a distance. But I think it just looks it gives it a way more clean look. And then yeah, I'm gonna finish this up real quick, and then also. This I might need a heat gun for, huh? The actual sticker one. Um, Cause I don't maybe. know, I don't know if the blade to get behind. Or... Oh no! Nah. Oh wait, never mind. Easy. Yeah, that should get everything off, bro. The blade is where it's at. That gets everything off. Yeah, that's gonna look. Yeah, that just looks way better. I didn't like how it looked when it had all these decals on it. That definitely looks way better. But yeah, this is the truck again, y'all. Like six inch lift, blacked out. It's already almost murdered out. Only thing is, I don't want to tint the front windshield. That's just doing too much when it comes to the truck. Like, I do not need to do all that extra stuff. But I'm definitely going to be getting those yellow brakes. I think that'll look really good. I don't know if I want to just get them painted or should I get, like, the uh, yellow bake, the brake caliper covers. I think it'll look better because it'll make the brakes look bigger. But I think I'm going to just go, like, the more organic way and just get the uh, caliper paint. And then uh, I also might be taking off this muffler because, as you guys can see, that muffler right there is huge. So... We need to take that off because my truck it is a 2.7 liter turbo so i mean it is a four cylinder but i kind of want some noise it's a little too quiet for me and i know that with that turbo if you take off the muffler the turbo spool sound it just sounds so much better so um, i might be doing that later today as well i'm not sure but after we take off all these decals which is there it goes look how much more clean that looks obviously like i said i'm gonna have to get the goo gone later and get all the residue off but that looks so much better with that and I also want to get the tail lights tinted. I think that'll make it look so much better. But with that being said, like I said, um, after this, we are we might go to the muffler shop. I'm not 100% sure on that. But we are going to go to the dealership. Mitter do wants to look at some more chargers because we went to a few car meets and now Mitter's been one that charge her really bad. And uh, we met this other dude and he he be riding around with us. And Mitter, we need you to get that charger. Uh, bro. Um, I don't know why I hesitated on getting that SRT. It was a great price. Remember, remember that. My bad, y'all. Remember that uh, that charger I had when I was going Hellcat shopping, bro. He passed on it. He literally could have bought it right then and there. But and then when I wanted it a few days later, it was gone. Wanted it a few days later, it was gone, bro. And if you guys know, that one actually isn't a scat pack. There's a difference between the scat pack and the SRT. I mean, it's the same engine. Like it's technically a scat pack, but it's not a scat pack. It's an SRT, so it's pretty much a scat pack with the whole Hellcat body and everything. So. That's one thing that was unique about it, and it had everything that he wanted. I, I really think you should have got that shit, bro. Right, I should have. It was. I, I regret it to this day, but man, I'll find another one. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, we're about to finish this up real quick, and I'll give back to you guys. We literally just got here, and they have nothing. And I'm pretty sure they got everything in the showroom, but I'm pretty sure you don't want it's something brand new, though. Like, <laughs> it's a brand new Hellcat. Yeah, but this is what it looks like with the badge delete or everything. It's, the residue is still there, like I said. I still have to go back home later. I already have Google on, so I'm going to do that part later. But that's pretty much what it's looking like. And honestly, it looks way better, though, without the badges. I think it just looks more clean. Gives it a better look. But that six-inch lift is crazy. It just adds so much. It just makes a truck look better. It just makes a truck look like what a truck is supposed to look like. But I guess we are going to go in here. Look at some Hellcats. Probably I know they still have it. I know that I can see right now that they still have the same exact one from when I was here. Not the red one, but the red eye, I believe. Or I think it was a regular Hellcats, the purple one. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to buy a brand new red eye, bro. Or so many black These trucks are hard, though. Like, I would actually get a Ram, though. Like, let me look at this real quick. Like, I don't like this grill. I don't like that grill at all, but I like this grill. This one is hard. Like, I really like this truck a lot. And it already got the lift on it, and it looks bulky, nah, too. Nice. Yeah, this is not heavy, dude. Oh, it's the Black Widow. Yeah, this is hard. Stop. See, see, see on this one? These have brake caliper covers. I don't know if you guys can see, but those are brake caliper covers. And that's why I like brake caliper covers, and that's, that's hard that's as well. That's hard. Nah, this is cold. Nah, this that one. screen is hard though. That's one thing. That it's I'm like thinking. a whole Tesla screen. Sport too. Yeah, these black widows are clean though. But the markup. Do you think this one got in it? I don't know, but the markup on this is probably crazy. Six inch lift. It already got a lift too. Like this is. I think I'll keep it. This is a perfect like truck. Yeah. Oh, it has a five seven. So you know, if I do a muffler or strafe height, this should be yeah, loud nah, too. Nah, this is clean though. I'm actually starting to get more into trucks because honestly, trucks are more fun to drive. Than you know what we was doing earlier bro. we was just driving over random stuff like i can literally just drive over all this if i want to bro that's why it's so fun to drive 
But like, if you were to get a car meant though, like, what do you really want? Like, do you just want a scat pipe or do not care really? Nah, not, I, not honestly, necessarily that you don't care though, but like, what exactly is it that you want though? Honestly, like, like, cause it, let's say, would you get that? Yeah. Like you would get that. Like if it was a good price right the, now. The car I really want is obviously like a scat pack. Yeah. But I mean, I wouldn't mind a little daily car just to. Exactly. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I said, when we was at that car meet, bro, he just felt like he wasn't like included. Yeah. Cause like, obviously it's cool. Like he's in the passenger side. He could drive my car whenever he wants, but it's not his. It's not the same. It's bro. not the same at all. Like, so. When we're at the car meet, you started doing burnouts. Like, bro, like if, if we're all in line, <laughs> like. Bro, doing the whole line, thing, like, that should be hard, Me, like, bro. when you let me, like, like you said, I could drive a car whenever, but it's just not the same. Like, exactly, so. It's not the same. Let's see what they talk about in here real quick, y'all. I do something. see a different Durango. See, yeah, that one I can't get, but I don't know how I feel about that one. Where my guy at? I got, ah, there you go. That's my guy right there. You gonna get me right? Ooh, y'all got the 390. Bro, the 390. Y'all saw the other one? Which one? The red one? The red one I originally came for. Remember the Hellcat? Yeah. Damn. Oh, I wanted that, bro. Damn. They got some hard ones here, though. Oh, cap. This one hard. Wide body. This color is clean, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Big brakes. Let's see if they got this open. Oh, yeah. They got this open. Ah. I already know this one not going to sell fast, bro. They got the stick, bro. Nobody, like, a lot of people don't know how to drive sticks, though. That's the thing. I don't know, bro. That shit ain't gonna sell. Hey, do y'all see? Do y'all sell like sticks fast? Like, does that sell fast? Yeah. Cause I feel like that one not gonna sell that fast. Cause look, like, bro, like if we if we're being like realistic. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. And then driving stick every day is that's like gets annoying. Like it's fun, like driving it for like the first week. Weekend. It's fun, but then after that, bro, having to all day, I couldn't do that, bro. Ain't no way. But damn, yeah, we was trying to come here and get a scat for my dude, but y'all ain't got nothing. Shit. It's looking dry right now. I'm telling you, bro, it, it, it's not gonna get any better. That's, crazy. That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, it's weak. What's that What's that right there behind this one? It's a cat. Brand new one. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I already know, because last time y'all was trying to get like 100 out of me, I was like, oh, I'm cool. This one hard, too, though. This one brand new. Only thing is, they got those cloth seats just like mine. I really don't even like my cloth seat, but this one got Alcantara steering wheel. It's kind of worn. This one got an Alcantara steering wheel, but it's pretty worn. I don't like that. You don't like that? Not this steering wheel. This color is hard, though. I'm not going to lie to you. This color is hella hard. I can't see myself in a Challenger. I don't know, bro. Hey, a scat is a scat, though. You can't do that. A scat is a scat, though, bro. I don't know. This thing is hard. You that's couldn't see yourself have, in that? That's all they have is challenges, though. Yeah, that's so all they do have. You can do burnouts in this, too, though. Damn, somebody already. Yep. Yeah, we did. I, I owe 3000 <laughs> I had to pay. <laughs> I'm weak. Yeah, this is cool, too. Durango, though, for family car? Nothing happened to family car, you got a V8, though. <laughs> this 2018? Nah. Yeah. No, I'm saying, nah, uh, I can't see you getting this. This yeah. one hard though, cause they got the red seats too. Like this one clean. Like I said, bro, having three rows, that's a plus for sure. I can't do this. You could? Nah, TVs though. That's clean, bro, with the TVs in it. Damn, imagine playing your P5 back here. Man. You can't plug in your P5 with those those Our cables man. though, nah, yeah. Yeah, I ain't doing all that though. But your graphics don't be terrible. Yeah, but this, this one clean too. This one's clean, but. Obviously, it's a Hellcat. This color I've actually never seen before. Like, I actually really like this color. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, that's not bad. Hundred thousand. Somebody already put the quad tips on it, so they got it how I would have it at least. Wide body. Look how bad these tires is, bro. Yeah, it's looking ugly right now. I mean, I'm not gonna rush it. Nah, definitely not. There's definitely there's plenty of cars out there, bro. Just. At these dealership, it's kind of hard. To like an hour and a half away yeah, for sure. Just to find that perfect one, you never want to just settle on it's just one. Shift. Yeah, that's why I said, bro. Like one in three people, we were just talking about that. Like that shit's not gonna sell fast. Cause a lot of people, like even, but like I feel like whoever buys a Hellcat though is like is a, a car guy. So like I mean, but just driving stick in general though, it's just annoying. I couldn't see myself doing. You like this every time, bro. Yeah, I couldn't see myself doing that, bro. That's it. Your best bet is to get a truck from here. 
No. I mean, you want to go to that other dealership we we drove past, the Ford one that has. They. I mean, they got that they got that Daytona there though, which I think you might like the Daytona. Even an RT, bro, you can still do like you're good because it'll technically be your first car. I mean, you can get the scat pack, but I'm saying even if you get an RT, it's still a V8 yeah, no, though. That was still fine. I just, I'll you just won't be able to keep up with us, but you'll still be a V8. I'll get every tune I could. Man, you get a Diablo tune or something, that'd be crazy. This is gonna be in low 40s. Yeah. Um, what's like the exact price? I don't know. I, don't, I mean, these cars come in now. I would not know an exact price on them. Uh, if you give me price on that. So what? If I can get a price on it, then it'll go from there. All right, that's fine with me. I'm but have you even drove one of these things? I have one. This, <laughs> have him? One? this one's for you? Yeah. I have a scat pack. He, he's trying to get one. Scat pack over there too. That's a challenger that's that though. Too. This only charger you have? I mean, or like I have a V8? At this lot, I have 14 different stores though. Can you get it open for us? Yeah, it's closed right now. Let me clean that little RT. That'd be clean. I can like it. I don't know. I don't know why. You don't like these wheels. Bro. I like these wheels. They look all right, but I don't like them. Bro, they look perfect. Especially these color combinations. Yeah, facts. Oh, I get that. And it already got the wrap good. I don't know why you would that. SS is hard too, bro. It's like getting a Mustang, bad two door, or getting a Challenger. Yeah, I mean, it's an SS thing. It's still a V8. And this is kind of cheaper too. This shit feels sporty though, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this shit stink. Not really. This shit is sporty though. Get this out. Get that out. You guys see what I'm talking about? This shit feels sporty though. Like hella sporty. The way the seat is and the. Like, it, but the only thing is, like, the dash is just. Like, yeah. Everything is right there. Oh uh, no. I could. I, I mean, it'd still be clean if you got this and we was going to meets and stuff. It'd still be clean. It's a V8, bro. But I can see why you probably want to charge it up, but still. And it's already blacked out, murdered out. All you got to do is throw some a little darker tint right here. Nice. It'll be good. But look nah. at this. That's like, man, the size of my back seat. Damn, it's fucking hella heavy. What the? I mean, this kind of is long. But That's hella what small. am I fitting into this? Nah, you ain't putting no. <laughs> you barely fit your groceries in there. Exactly. You got to start it up, I think. Let me get a, uh, let me get a remote start. the cats off that shit louder than mine no if the cats were off i don't know you can sell it yeah that's what i'm saying but that, that, that how long has this been sitting for that's a better question how long has this one been sitting for? like just right here though has it been oh. turned on all day no okay then that's probably why that shit was loud it hasn't it hasn't been on at all all day yeah that's probably that shit sounded hella loud that's i ain't gonna lie like, now mine do be hella loud like that but that shit was loud what kind of vlogs you do huh i said what kind of vlogs you do just car vlogs, anything, it don't Shopping. matter. Shopping, it don't matter. Just daily life. Shit. Why? You trying to get into it? No, I mean that's sick. You just into I it? No, I just never, I never thought of like. Obviously, I've watched. You've never seen like it in that. real life, huh? No. It's like, no. it's like weird to see it. I understand. Like, is the channel like surrounded around both of you, or or is it? I mean, it's uh, me, it's, but it's like. His channel, I'm basically like his cameraman, and like. It's like he, it's part of my channel though. Like he's me though too. It's like if you see him, you'll know where he comes from. Type shit. That's what it is. What's the name of the channel? Mari Benz. Benz? Yeah. Mari Benz. Oh, Mari Benz. Mm -hmm. That's sick, dude. I'm, so, how much did they want for it? Did you see it? I did it. I was looking for it. Is it on the website? That's what I was hoping for. It's not. Yeah, this one clean too. Daytona package. Yep. This is the one I wanted when it comes to package wise, but I don't like how they put this on there. That's the only thing. What, the Daytona? Yeah, I don't like that. Stop. I don't like that. See, look. The, hey, bro, come look at this, bro. It's gonna be slapping hella loud. This motherfucker about to have this you is, right. This isn't like a regular tin. It's, oh, a com it's a competition tin. So it hits a little harder. I, like I was saying, I took this one on the train and he told me about it. What did he trade it for? What? He traded it for um, like a. See that truck right there, like that black one? Yeah, like that one? Got a lift on it. Like mine? That's your truck right yeah. there? Shit, sick. <laughs> no, I don't it know. Like, it was like, is that factory though? What, the lift? Yeah. No, I just put that on yesterday. Yeah, it was like it was like that, mm -hmm. but um, we had lifted it, put new wheels on it, 
Uh, tires. There's no way it should be low 40s. The other one was yeah. just 40 helmet. Yeah, because it's 2021 though. The other one was but I, it, you gotta think, you gotta think. But listen, you gotta think though, it's an RT too. It's not a scat pack. That's probably why. I mean, I, I don't, I could find out exactly for you guys, but. I mean, if you get a price from me, that'd be cool. Go if I go in there and I tell them, let me get a price real quick, they'll get mad at me. <laughs> Wait, so how, how would somebody know if I was a, a buyer? How would I know what to buy it for then? Without asking because, for the I mean, price. That's, that's the easiest part of my job, so it's like, it doesn't really matter. Four miles of yours? Hmm? Four miles of yours? What? But it's 14K. Got that's not bad though. No, it's not. Only thing is though with that subwoofer, that's adding hella weight. Stop. That shit kind of heavy. Bro, it's it's one it's one ten. One hundred ten pounds. It's one ten. Oh, one ten. So like, I have two tens in my car or two twelves, mm -hmm. two amps, and then uh, stock intake. Yep, yeah, Daytona. I have two. I have two amps. Hold on, be above that much weight. Not really. Huh? Oh, doesn't okay. really add that much weight. It's this just a, it's just a, like a with the Daytona package that come with Intex. I mean, you still only pushing like 380 though, or 370, something like that. But shit, this shit clean, bro. How much? Do you know how much the Chali is? If you were to guess, the, the what? Scatback Chali, Challenger. I probably say like 50. Yeah, I, best bet is this right here, honestly. This thing clean it though. Sound like it's barking already. It's barking though. Like it's already working. So we just left the dealership and it wasn't looking too sweet there. He gave us the number, he told us it was low 40s, but it was really low 50s. Yeah, really low $10,000 difference is crazy. So with that being said, uh, we just gonna wrap this up for today. We didn't have no luck with finding cars. So we gonna have to just make another part two or part three actually. So I was kind of looking too, but I was, it was more familiar. But with that being said, I am in Target. I might just buy me a little brace. I fucked up my arm when I was bowling. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.